Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do an Aries love prediction reading for June 27th through July 3rd. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go, <clears throat> excuse me, either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I would be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you gave me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you decide to do that. Let's see what's going on with my impulsive, kind, sweet, loving Aries. Show me, spirit guides. What's going on with my impulsive Aries? Show me, spirit guides, what's going on with my Aries for the week of the 27th of June through July 3rd. Let's see, Aries, what you got going on. Four of Wands. The Hermit card. Five of Swords. The Judgment card. <laughs> and the Six of Cups. Well, Aries, somebody wants to be married to you. This Four of Wands is all about celebration, marriage. This is someone that wants to be married to you. This is someone that is asking for your hand in marriage. This is a proposal. Someone has dropped to one knee and has asked for your hand in marriage. But l let me tell you what I see here. I see that you, with this hermit card here, which could be a Virgo person, but the, 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 um, the hermit card is about introspection. It's the energy of looking inside yourself. I don't think you told them um, yes. I think you flat out told them no. I do. I think you told them no. But you know what? You did it impulsively. You did it impulsively. Because here's a hermit card. And the hermit card is about learning. It's about intuition. Um, having your own intuition. Having your own thoughts. Your own mindset. But it's like you're learning. It's, like, it's a learning card. You told someone no though. You did. I, I, I know you told someone no. Because here you are with the five of swords. Now you're all in your head about this because you shouldn't have told them no because you really do want to be married to them. What in the heck? You told them no. It was an impulsive thing. But you told them no, but now you want to say yes. Because the Five of Swords here is in the middle of your reading. And that Five of Swords is all about you being in your head about this. Because now you know that's, it's, a, it's, a, it's in your head energy. Now you know you want to say yes, but you told them no because, you know, overthinking things will get you in trouble. And I think you overthought this situation a little bit. And I think you were just saying this is a lifetime because normally you're very impulsive. But I think you were saying that this is a lifetime thing. And you, you for some reason, you told this person no that you really, really love and adore. Now you're in your head with this five of swords. Now you have conflict going on in your head. You have conflict because you've told this person no. When you really meant a yes. The next card you have is a judgment card. And the judgment card is all about a realization. It's about a realization. It's like you've realized it now. Yeah, I hope it's not too little too late. But you've realized it now. You've realized that this is the person you want to be with. And you realize that you've made a mistake. Um, you were impulsive possibly by saying, um, by saying no to them. Because all along you wanted to be married to them, but there was something that caused you to say no, possibly too. I'm going to keep reading to see. But the judgment card, this is, this is a card about realization, um, an awakening that you know that you want to be married to this person now. The judgment card is also about getting back together with someone. These two cards on the end, judgment can mean an awakening, an awareness of getting back together. Along with the six of cups, this is someone that you've known for a long time. This is a reunion card too. These cards are reunion cards. So whatever, I don't know. I see you possibly getting back together with them. I don't know if it's going to be a yes, if they're going to ask for your hand in marriage again. 
But I think that you're going to reunite with them again because here's the deal. When you told them no, they walked away. You told them no and they said goodbye. And I don't think you expected them to say goodbye either. I'm going to tell you that, um, Aries. I don't think you expected them to say goodbye because here's his five of swords, which is conflict in your head. But that conflict in your head, too, is about the fact, what were you thinking? Why did you tell this person no? But that five of swords is a conflict. But here's the judgment card here. It's a realization that you know you want to marry them. And you always knew. You always knew. But here's the judgment card. It's a, it's a realization. And it's also a reunion card, too, along with this Six of Cups. Someone you know you've had great memories with. It's coming back together. Here's what I want to know, though. So if this is your read, sit back, relax, and let me clarify the cards, this part of the reading, because this is just the first part of your reading. But what I want to know is if you guys are going to get back together and get married. Because remember, we started at the beginning for a while. This is a proposal. Are they going to propose to you again? I don't know. Let's see. So, if this is your read, sit back, relax. Give me just three to five minutes. Don't be impulsive. Take the time to listen to your read because if it's your read, the spirit guides are going to tell you. So, let's see why this four of wands is here. Show me why the four of wands is here for my Aries. Show me spirit guides. Why is the four of wands here for Aries? Well, I pulled the hermit card again. This could definitely be a Virgo person. But um, the Hermit card is all about you looking within yourself. It's about you. It's like about you learning. Learning about yourself. Taking a look at yourself. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Whenever you see the two of the same cards in the reading, it means I'm on the right track. The Spirit Guides are saying, yes, you are telling them exactly what we want them to know. Let's see why the Hermit card is here again. Show me why the Hermit card is here again. Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is the Hermit card here again for my Aries? Ah, I have the Death card. Could be a Scorpio person, too. But the Death card is transformation. You're making a transformation. Yeah, you said no, but you didn't mean no. You're making a transformation because you really want to be back with this person. You do want to be married to this person. That Death card is a transformation card. You are making a transformation from maybe not being so impulsive not saying um, no, um, and you've thought it through now, and you know you want to be with them. So let's see why this Five of Swords. Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is the Five of Swords here for my Aries? Why is the Five of Swords here for my Aries? Show me, Spirit Guides. Oh, I have the Seven of Swords. That's your reasoning. That's why. That's why. Seven of Swords is betrayal. So they proposed to you, um, but there was some betrayal that has been here in the past. And you had to really look within yourself to see if you were going to forgive them for it. Because five of swords is conflict in your head is because you keep seeing this betrayal and you don't, you're not quite sure if you should be with them if they've already betrayed you once. Which I can definitely understand. But you have to pick yourself apart too because you probably have done some things as well. But... You are, this is why you said no, because betrayal. There was some betrayal here. That seven of swords over that five of swords, which is all in your head. It's like you can't get it out. You see it constantly. You're not quite sure if they're going to be faithful and kind to you. You're not sure of that. You're not sure if they're going to be faithful and kind. And just because they have asked for your hand in marriage does not mean that they are going to be kind and going to be faithful to you. That's why you said no. So let's see what the judgment, why is the judgment card here? Show me spirit guides. Why is the judgment card here? Oh, I've got the six of pentacles. You want, you, this is a type, you want a very balanced relationship. You want a give and take relationship. You want a generous relationship. And this judgment card here says that this can definitely be that type of relationship. If you are to get back with them, if you are to allow them to come back in your life, if these things you do want to be married to them but you're afraid which i definitely understand so you want a very generous relationship a kind relationship you want a balanced relationship you want a giving relationship you want a good just an all-around good relationship with this person and here's a judgment card because you really love the person so let's see why the six of cups is here show me spirit guides why is the six of cups here
You have the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords means you're taking the time out. You're just taking the time out trying to get it together. Four of Swords is just contemplating. Just sitting there contemplating. That's all you're doing right now. Let's look at this. This is someone that offered, asked for your hand in marriage. Uh, but yet and still, you had to look within yourself because something happened. Because here's a hermit card here again. Hermit represents Virgo as zodiac signs. But it doesn't have to be a Virgo because here's a death card, which is a Scorpio. But you're making a transformation. You are making a transformation. You have looked within yourself and tried to figure out if, in fact, you want to be married to them because you told them no. But here's the Five of Swords here. Five of Swords means you're all in your head because you love them. And you really do want to be married to them, but you can't get the infidelity out of your head. It swirls in your head all the time and you're afraid. You're afraid to even make that move to say yes to them because you're afraid they'll cheat on you again. Now, here's a judgment card. And the judgment card is all about a realization. But it's also a reunion card. So I do believe that you and this person get back together. But the Six of, of Pentacles here means that you are trying to work on, you guys are trying to work on a very balanced relationship. You're trying to get this relationship to be very kind. You're trying to be kind to each other. You're trying to be for it to be a very generous relationship. And when I say generous, generous in love, generous in kindness, not holding anything back. But here you have the Six of Cups because this person is not new to you. You know this person. Six of Cups is a reunion card as well. And it's you are going to get back with this person. But right now, I'm not quite sure if you want if you want them to propose to you again. Because here's the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is my card of contemplation. You're thinking about things. You're taking the time out. It is time to go over things to figure out what you do want and how you want to move with this person next. You do want to be with them. You do want to be married to them, possibly. But I don't think they're asking for your hand in marriage again right now. You're just trying to get over this hurt, this infidelity. And a marriage is not going to do it. So let's see. What do my angel oracles have to say? What do my angel oracles have to say? What do the angel oracles have to say? Let's see. Well, the angel oracles say honesty and communication. In other words, you need to be honest with them. Let them know where you're coming from. Even if you guys get back together, that is fine too. But you need to let them know that you are, how you feel about the infidelity, how it's still in your head, how you still see it. You, you have to be honest and open with them because that's just the way it is. When someone betrays someone, it takes a while to get that out of your head, if you ever do. When you break the trust, it's hard to get the trust back, and they broke the trust. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Aries.